nation's highest court today struck down a Massachusetts law that created buffer zones around abortion clinics. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the state law violated the First Amendment, restricting access to public sidewalks, which are traditionally open for free debate. The government's ability to regulate speech in such areas is limited, the justices said, in a unanimous decision. WPTZ's Hannah McDonald has more on today's ruling. Buffer zones, they impede on free speech, according to the Supreme Court of the United States. The decision erring on the side of free speech more than any other principle. The court said what you can't do is prohibit people from trying to approach other people on the sidewalk. In a unanimous decision, the highest court throughout Massachusetts' buffer zone law, while not ruling them out entirely, it ruled requiring protesters to stay at least 35 feet away from abortion clinics is unconstitutional. One of the most important things I think for Vermonters to pay attention to is how the Supreme Court's ruling are going to affect our buffer zone laws here in Vermont. Today, we're going to make sure that uh, people who are seeking uh, medical uh, consults and who are seeking medical care have access. Questions popping up on how the Queen City will react to this ruling. I'm troubled by the decision. Hannah suspects the city of Burlington will have to make some changes. First, reviewing its buffer zone laws originally put in place to discourage harassment outside of reproductive clinics. When somebody stands in front of you and tries to talk you out of having a medical procedure, that does intimidate you, but the court said there are other ways to get at that problem. State House Judiciary Chairman Bill Lippert reacting, saying both access to services and protection of free speech is crucial. Balancing those two competing principles is very important. Another facet to this Supreme Court ruling, it might touch Vermont's laws involving military funerals and any other way government tries to shield people from protesters who might otherwise interfere with their right. In Burlington, Hannah McDonald, WPT.